our relationship with God is His gift to us. Today I would like to reflect upon the Gospel of John chapter 7 verses 40 to 44. In this particular passage, we have various groups of people who wrestle with the question, who is Jesus? And there is a division among the people. Some did not just call him a prophet, but the prophet thinking that he was the one about whom Moses foretold. The Lord your God will raise up a prophet for you from your brethren. You will listen to him. Deuteronomy 18.15 Another group of people said, This is Christ, the anointed one of God. This group of people had just drawn closer to that spiritual drink which had quenched their thirst of unbelief to a greater extent. This is what Peter himself professed. You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Matthew 16, 16. And the third group of people questioned if he could be the real Messiah. They knew that he was from Galilee and they also knew that true Messiah was to come out of Bethlehem, the city of David. Therefore, it was hard for them to believe that he was the true Messiah. As a result, we see division among the people arguing if he were the real Messiah. Here division implies a violent dissension. Some supported Jesus and believed in him, whereas some opposed him and they were wishing to lay hands on him. The division did not come because Jesus spoke foolishly or because he spoke on a theological controversial topic, but because he spoke about himself as the real Messiah. Dear friends, in our life too, we can sometimes even argue or disagree among ourselves for what we believe to be the only truth. But as a believer in Christ, you and me know by faith and experience that Jesus is the true Messiah, the one sent by the Father. The Catechism also teaches us that faith is a gift from God which no one can earn or achieve on his own or her own, although it does require a graced human acceptance of this gift. Our relationship with God is his gift to us. Therefore, it is good to pause for a moment and to thank and to praise God for the gift of faith by which we know him personally. Like the groups in the gospel, we ourselves and others are at various stages of spiritual life and have different dispositions to our faith. As we are in the season of Lent, let us pray for one another that God will give us his grace to know him and to love him more deeply. Amen. <music>